वेलकम टू अ फ्रेश एपिसोड ऑफ अंडर द हुड एंड टुडे वी हैव मिस्टर आनंद कुलकर्णी विद अस एंड वी आर इन मुंबई राइट नाउ वेयर द टाटा कर्व एस यू वीज हैव जस्ट बीन लॉन्च वेल इट हैज स्टार्टेड विद द कर्व ई वी इट विल प्रोग्रेस टूवर्ड्स द कर्व वाइज सून इनफ एंड वी आर गोइंग टू गेट सम रियली इंटरेस्टिंग इनसाइट फ्रॉम सर सो सर आई वुड लाइक टू स्टार्ट विद द इंटायर थॉट behind going towards the coupe suv segment and uh, how do you think that uh, the customers the tata customers and fans will respond to that fantastic uh, so you see the 4.3 segment is the largest growing segment uh, in the country today and this is a segment uh, not of uh, people who are first time buyers this is a segment of people who have lived through the cycle of car ownership for maybe one or two or perhaps three times also and therefore they are looking at something that is differentiated something that stands out and something that has great value in terms of how the car runs behaves operates uh, and and in general how the car personifies uh, the the success of that particular person now if you look at uh, what is there in the 4.3 meter segment it is typically the boxy suvs yes. <clears throat> uh, that that sort of clutter this now uh, if you were to therefore give a differentiated look uh, then a coupe becomes uh, a, such a compelling uh, argument and you look at multiple even premium uh, car makers globally and everybody would have a coupe uh, in their lineup so the, why is this segment so useful therefore it's precisely because of this fact that uh, you need something which is differentiated you need something which is dynamic which embodies the persona of the uh, user and uh, you also great get great value in terms of the utilities features uh, the running uh, or the driving dynamics from that product and that's essentially what we have tried to uh, assimilate mm-hmm. gather with the curve because of its distinctive body style because of the large wheel sizes that it has which gives it a, a very upright and very proud stance mm-hmm. uh, it's got a fantastic balance because on the electric vehicle that you have seen today it has a 50 50 balance on both the front wheels as well as the rear wheels but more importantly to the utilitarian factor which some of the other coupes might suffer from you have a 500 liter boot and it is a geometrically symmetric boot which means that it's very easy to store and remove uh, l- large odd size uh, packages also from it given the fact that the rear seat folds uh, it expands the space like anything and it therefore becomes a truly liberating uh, feature where you can do whatever you want it is a lifestyle product it is uh, capable of doing outdoorsy uh, kind of uh, activities uh, along with that we've also enhanced our a uh, connectivity suit we have enhanced our safety suit the car is now ready to appear on a uh, bn cap uh, criteria and get the highest uh, grading uh, there is adas on the car we have added around 20 odd features uh, we've given uh, great power we've given two battery capacities so all in all it's such a fantastic product coming together with great choices and in that sense it is a complete product choice that we are offering to uh, discerning customers and that too with its own uh, unique uh, design which is not there in the mid sized suv segment correct. right now correct correct and um, uh, more importantly i think when all of these things come together uh, along with the uh, price that we are uh, we have announced today mm-hmm. as an introductory price but you see for the first time electric vehicles are now coming at parity with their uh, ice counterparts and i think this is such a breakthrough moment for us mm-hmm. because we've all been waiting for this for quite some time uh, and therefore we have full confidence that uh, when people look at this as a complete package uh, it would make a lot of value it would make a lot of sense to them and i'm sure they will uh, endorse our views and hopefully uh, choose uh, the car of course sir. and uh, you know as mentioned earlier during our presentation also the mid sized suv segment is still 
you know holding really good numbers and a good trajectory even though we are seeing a bit of a slowdown compared to last year in the sector but you are right it's the highest growing segment yeah so i am afraid that what people will be doing is that making a direct comparison between the curve suv and the nexon somehow and uh, i would like you to you know explain to our audience how the entire architecture of the curve is different both in its ev format and the ice format and the kind of uh, work put into it and the benefits that a customer would have in the mid suv segment on that platform see first of all we need to understand that the nexon is a sub 4 meter category yeah uh, so it's a 3.95 Uh, a meter category this is a 4.3 meter category so these cars are not the same they are clearly different cars uh, the width of the car the height of the car the length of the car uh, the tire sizes these are all different you can't do that on the same platform it has to be done on a different platform it's just not possible to do it therefore uh, while somebody might be tempted to say is this a nexon it is not uh, and they are com- uh, completely different architectures on the ev side the car benefits from the active uh, architecture active architecture is something that we had spoken about at the time of punch dot uh, ev launch and we had said that it was uh, architecture that is a f- pure electric architecture it's a forward facing architecture capable of doing software enhancements and uh, enabling a lot of other efficiency related features in much the same way Uh, the curve ice appears on the atlas platform yes. and uh, the atlas platform is also uh, our architecture is also completely new and it enables the ability to package multiple engines multiple uh, powertrain options as well as liberate a lot of uh, uh, space in- internally and uh, design it it has been designed in such a way that it is uh, very very safe so when you have all of these things come together you have a product that is completely differentiated and uh, it is absolutely in a different league uh, rather than it being comparing with uh, some, some other product mm-hmm. those comparisons uh, are not fair so one key point that you already mentioned was that uh, this would be bharat ncap yeah five star capable okay so those are really interesting keywords so would we not see tata cars going gain for global ncap anymore or what is the stage of bharat ncap 5 star capability what can you just uh, lay down for us i would like to tell you that uh, tata motors has been uh, pioneering in terms of safety safety is a very very strong pillar so far as tata motors is concerned and it's not today it's not for last 5 years it's been there right since the time that we started developing our cars of course then what happened is because india did not have any uh, any safety specific criteria or a ncap uh, protocol uh, gn cap uh, came in and they started uh, verifying the cars according to their protocol and uh, of course we have being pioneers at that point of time also uh, we uh, applied for our vehicles and we succeeded in getting a, a gn cap 5 star rating on nexon and uh, other cars as well but now bharat uh, ncap has started and bharat ncap has started so there is a domestic protocol that is now available for one secondly uh, this is not as if uh, one person uh, versus the other gn cap's mandate is also to make sure that cars become safer that uh, uh, vehicles are safer people uh, therefore have better safety and therefore the whole objective of gn cap coming into the country was when bn cap was not there but now that bn cap is there and it has decided to move on the same progression of uh, improvement as the gn cap was you have a standard locally available and therefore uh, it makes sense that if you are in this market to adhere to the the gn cap uh, to the bn cap standards uh, rather than look at the gn cap if we were to do products for a different market we would look at that but otherwise the bn cap becomes a standard for us to for all of us to adhere because that's what lifts the standard of safety uh, overall in the country so there you have it viewers first of all the curve suvs have nothing in common with the nexons 
and uh, they are a much bigger segment they are supposed to be in the mid size suv segment and secondly there will be no compromise on safety and you will still continue to experience the world class safety that tata products are you know known to have and sir to end our conversation i would like to ask you is tata motors in terms if from my outside understanding isn't tata motors worried that uh, these new products that of course the curve ev has been launched at a stellar price point of starting price of 17.49 lakh Correct. so aren't you worried that this might cannibalize uh, your already hit products like the nexon ev max that also have a substantial market share see what is uh, products take two and a half three years sometimes three and a half years to make yeah there is a cadence that has to be followed so uh, you you follow that cadence because that's been uh, planned and that's been uh, baked into a cycle uh, to begin with so you don't worry about uh, what happens at that particular point of time because there would be further interventions that we would make in order to make sure that the entire cycle and the entire product portfolio becomes well aligned so i would only say that there is no fear of any such Uh, kind of cannibalization there will always be some outliers where it will come in the consideration set uh, people who are on the borderline and so on and so mm-hmm. forth but both of these products like we have just now spoken they have their own distinct places they have their own distinct segments yeah. uh, they have their own distinct use cases and utilities it's not only and only a matter of price mm-hmm. uh, and therefore we should not be uh, overly worried about Uh, what happens in case there is an overlap there are many such products where overlaps occur and yet the products are successful so i wouldn't really worry excessively on that thank you sir i am really excited to see what you guys do with the act ev and the atlas platform going forward thank you so much for speaking to us thank you so much